The following is a presentation of TFNN. Live at TFNN, the Money Masters. Now, your Money Masters, Tom O'Brien and Steve Rhodes. Welcome, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We appreciate all you tigers and tigresses out there growling and prowling with us. Uh, right now, we get the uh, Dow. The Dow down 38, NASDAQ off 12, S&Ps off 3. We got uh, gold flat at 1,626. Silver's down 20. Bonds down 15 at 152.05. You get uh, King Dollar down 36, trading at 82.60. And the bonds, are, I mean, the euro's at 124.96. Well, you had a heck of a day Friday, didn't you? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Fireworks Friday. Oh, baby, uh, I'll tell you. You know, I mean, it's amazing. So the, the dollar went and, and hit out the oh, yeah. uh, August 2010 high. That's right, that's right, yeah. You know? Yeah, um, within, like, three pennies. You yeah, know? I know. So was, Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Well, we're talking about, folks, if you take a look at the dollar, um, this was... It's it's a hundred percent move or move. We'll, we'll see. Uh, you know, bottom line is that what kind of cause it wants to build for the next leg up. But what you have is that it tagged the eighty three sixty seven. The number was eighty three sixty four. Sixty four. You know how it's you know, beautiful. That is crazy. That, that is re it's really wild. And so we and we get some divergence because what you, we do. what you did what you did have is that you had the S and P go lower, the Dow, the Nasdaq. In those indices, you had lighter volume, but yet in the diamonds and the, the Russell, and the Russell yeah. you, you had volume. It's an ABC down. Yeah. You know, confirmed. with volume. Yeah. You know, so there's this, this, this action. That, that, was, that was, the, that was the, the, the divergence that was out there. Right. You know, you, you certainly had that. And so it's going to be maybe a little bit of a tug in a war. And gold took off big time. It did. You Wide know? price spread. Wide price spread, accelerated volume. Now, it's going to get interesting here is this. You get accelerated volume on the dailies. Yeah. And that's it, though. That's right. On the that's weeklies, right. they don't, right. it doesn't have any juice. Yeah. Now that's that, that's not bad coming off the bottom like that because you can you, you can't expect everything at once. That's yeah. that's the reality. Yeah. But that's a that that is a heads up. You that, know? that was actually the only place where there was any portion of a fear trade that I could find. Yeah. Because you know when I was taking a look at the tick index, I was amazed. The lowest I tick know. was like thirteen hundred. I know. Thirteen man. and change or what have you. I you know, know that was that was it. So there was still no fear no, there wasn't. in the uh, market. So that was saying, okay, you got divergence between you know a couple of the ETFs. That suggests you'd have some type of bounce in here because you're going to have people buying the market. Yes. No. No. It, it, you know. And yeah. So I was like, okay, that's 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 cool. You couldn't handle it though. But that's the bottom line, you yeah. know what I mean, which is going to get interesting. So uh, we take a look at some of the, uh, well, it's not high volume out here yet, uh, but out here this morning, a GE down uh, 25 cents. Facebook, look at this, 27, yeah, down, 26. Yeah, down another buck. 26.78. Yeah, that's, and it's traded a little bit lower, I think, intraday. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. A Apple, someone just took a bite out of Apple. That was that was. Oh, quick. they sure did, nine bucks. Yeah, yeah. and that was, a, that was a quick bite they just took here, folks, because they, they took no, that with first. with volume. They took that first leg down pretty quick. They took it from 565 to 556 in all of six minutes. <laughs> I know. Man. That's intense. There's no doubt about it. And, uh, you know, so the swing point on Apple, you know, what that... That baby is game there at 528. Yeah, again. it still didn't, you know, with with Friday, you know, they, they, if you were looking for a little bit of divergence as well, didn't, didn't have much in the way of volume. No, it didn't. You know, Friday, that, Apple held up. Yeah, a totally. A a Apple absolutely held up. There's no yeah. doubt about it, man. Yeah. yeah. If it hadn't, uh, you would be looking well more than 274 points. Yes. The way. Not that it's in the Dow, but simply it, as a leader, would have, you know. Yeah. No, no, no doubt about it. Yeah. No doubt about it. Pretty wild. So if we go over to Europe, folks, uh, would you have uh, the UK is closed today? Uh, the DAX, you know, uh, you're down 59 bucks right now. Let me see what she's got going. Yeah, she had the juice too. So she took out a B point of an ABC down. Yeah. So the, the yeah. real divergence right now that exists out here in the marketplace that I see is the is the the euro. The euro is bouncing up fairly nicely right yeah. now. It's trading up towards its its session highs. Okay. Uh, you know, so you've got the euro, you got the euro pushing, you know, its highs for the uh, day, right? And you know, you get the uh, and you get the you know DAX trading off and the 
market trading down. So and it makes sense that yeah. you're, it makes sense that there's a bounce. But what what what? Let me tell you something. No doubt. When I saw that Friday, right? Yeah. The one of the keys that you want to wrap your head around here, folks, is this: is that the downdrafts absolutely are going to come out of nowhere, and we're going a lot lower. Oh, absolutely. You know, because they. It, a normal bounce would have took place in the, in that in that texture. Yeah. Uh, texture. And, yeah. and what you have there is that when you have an acceleration down like that, you didn't have the juice in two of the indices. The other two had the had the juice. Yeah. We're going south in a big way. So. Well, and the, and the thing is, it was also with regard to the 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 minute bounce that occurred last week. Right. We didn't even get a point three eight two retracement no. on any of the legs. Exactly. And that that's actually, folks, that's one of the largest danger signs you could find out there. It is. You know, because that's saying that when you only do a retracement like that, it has tons of energy right. to, to take that next leg down. Right, right. And how about the bonds? It should be pretty quick. Oh, <laughs> back, back, back to the moon. Is that? I, I think that uh, Elon Musk uh, took some bonds to the moon with him. I'll tell you. Not even go to the moon, but the space, uh, no, space uh, station you know, up there. And, folks, they won't back off. You know, 152.04, they hit 153.03 this morning. And these babies... Uh, it's wild, but yeah, one sixties out there, man. Lower, lower interest rates still coming. Lower, lower huh? interest rates are coming, which is kind of amazing. Well, you know what? The more that it, it is amazing in one case, and then the other case is not, because when you look around the world, where yeah, are you going to well, put your money? That's that's that, that's, that's, that's what where it, that, that's it's what it all about so. supply and demand. Where are you going to put your money? You know, what what uh, you know? It was interesting this morning um, on CNBC, and I'm telling you, man, it's it's really getting weird out there with. Uh, <laughs> Ideologically, it, 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 there's some crazy arguments, okay? Yeah. Because Santelli yeah. was out there t this morning, and you can make an argument that, hey, why wouldn't you refinance some of your, the our debt right now that, at, yes. at, at 2%? Okay, okay. You know, because the bottom line is that that's... that's a, and, and what is happening, and, and this is going to get interesting to see how this plays out, folks, because what is happening, I think, in society is that people are fed up with the government spending money. There's no, there's no doubt... But you have to separate a, 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 an argument like that versus how much money you can save by refinancing anything. Just think about your houses. For sure. No, for sure. <laughs> you for know. Sure. And so it was really wild listening to him because he wouldn't he wouldn't go with the refinancing. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Because you know the, the the theory behind is that no, I want to stop spending money. But I'm I'm telling you something. If you think that way, then you know you should sit back and. Get your head into math a little because yeah, 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 because the sure. amount of money that is saved, yeah. you know, um, my God, I, I, when I start here and I says, oh, this is going to be interesting to see how this plays out because, you know. Well, and look, and it, and it makes sense. You know, you take a look at where interest rates are today. Okay, they can go still lower. Right. But, you know, where, where, do, you, where do you think they're going to be at some point in time in the future, lower or higher? And yeah. I'm talking about out in the future. No, no I'm with you. you know, I'm with you. I'm they're they're, they're going to be higher. You know, it's 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 wild watching it shake out. There's no doubt. Um, you know what? What we definitely have, though, when, when I look at the world right now, people want the U.S. dollar. They want yeah. the dollar, man. Uh, and now you, the, you, there's there's two ways you're winning here. Well, you you're winning on the aspect of what the dollar can buy. You're winning on the safety inside the dollar, and then you're winning about the the bond market in general, yeah. because if we re if, picture this for a second, folks, if they can figure out now what, right, uh, yeah, yeah, what yeah, they yeah. haven't figured out yet is that how do you refinance the longer term debt? Right, right, you know? right. And then of course the, the, there's a huge argument, and it's a correct argument to be made of the how do you pay for the Medicare and the rest of that? Because that that is one thing with fixed costs is another thing with yeah. the legacy costs that right, are involved. Right, right, right. You know, I know how to fix it immediately. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I, I absolutely, and it, what it, you know what it is, folks. There's so much, there's so much fraud and soft money inside the medical business. It's insane. It's bureaucracy. Yeah. I mean, give me a break. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, they should do a story on the on the new. Remember, the, it, it's many how many you know years ago they did the story on a hammer or a toilet cost I don't know a thousand dollars or something. In the right, government, right, 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 right. Well, right, let right. me tell you something. If you went to a what we're paying for in a hospital for a toilet, I bet no, I, I, no I bet question. we're paying three thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, unreal. Let's go to British Columbia, see if Rick's paid his taxes yet. Hey, Rick, what's going on, brother? Yeah, our commodity prices are dropping, so we're going to have to start paying more taxes. Yeah, you are, man. You are. <laughs> 
Hey, look at that. What you guys I, should do, you guys should come down here and stop buying some land, man, with that strong dollar, because your dollar is going back to a buck thirty, and it's a buck three right now. Uh, our dollar is dropping like a rock, though, with oil. Yeah, it's nothing. You haven't seen anything yet, man. Hey, uh, Tom, I I brought it up when we were putting the shoulder on. I don't know if I was talking to you or not. Looking at the IWM. Okay. And I noticed on a daily, and I looked at that Friday, too. And it's really quite, quite cool. Like, it has that head and shoulder top, right? Yeah. That we talked about. That's and right. And then if, if you put it on a one-year weekly, okay, it looks like... Like we have a little small ABC down on a daily to, to 71, and on a weekly, that's the, the top end of the real price of the stock on a one-year chart. You see what I mean? The real yeah. price. Yeah, I do. 71 or whatever. Yeah, but, go back to the August 2011 area. Yeah. Yeah, but just above 71, actually. But on a daily, it looks like we've confirmed that um, an ABC down. Um, I just thought it maybe uh, we... It doesn't mean we can't bounce... You know, no, 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 I'm with you. I'm with you. You know, the the, 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 the divergence that's out here is kind of neat, actually, okay? but And what you have, folks, is that the... Now, in the IWM, it's different, because in the IWM, you actually have the IWM has confirmed it and the Russell's confirmed it, meaning that yeah. if I pull up the RUT, the, the, the day be, it's actually the day before, but that, that also came in with monster volume. Um, where is she? Um, the well, the IWM. Let's see. So two thirty four versus. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You know the now that's the only indice that did confirm it. Now what's really weird about that is that inside the IWM, of course, you have a lot of the commodity stocks. And when I was looking at the commodity stocks, you had the gold and silvers move. But hey, you want to see a monster that is going lower, which is just insane? Is Valley. You know they couldn't. It couldn't get out of its mm -hmm. way, man. Mm -hmm. You know that's uh, the stock has you know got absolutely crushed. Down from forty-five bucks to eighteen, and this thing wants to go lower. And after after Friday, the first thing I actually looked at this morning, I'm saying to myself, "This is amazing. It can't get out of its way." And, and inside this equity, folks, I mean, it's one of the largest miners in the world. You know, it has everything. You know. Yeah, but um, so but anyway, do you get volumes on copper? And the reason I say that, yeah, you just mentioned Valley, and I looked. Like, I think we're going to get a small little bounce out of here, and just when, I don't know. But it looks to me like, uh, was it four or five days ago, the low on, the, the high on that day was 350. It was the highest volume day is what I see. And it looked like we, we broke the 344.85 level on the futures HGN uh, by, by a little bit lighter volume. So, I mean, it's not... Well, we had 88,000 uh, contracts versus the 90. But that, that, that 90, when you put it on a weekly, is a way down. But what you also got to remember is that that's the, we, we just move into a contract, too. But it, it has volume at the lows, man. I mean, it, it busted Boy. the 327 this morning, you know? Yeah. Cooking, brother. Oh, you take care. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien, all you tigers and tigresses. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow down 7, NASDAQ up 5, S&Ps are up a buck and a half. We're going to be right back. Kate Stalter's exciting newsletter, Low Price Leaders, has just launched, and now is a great time to get a two-week free trial. Every Wednesday afternoon, Kate sends out her weekly newsletter to her subscribers where she focuses on small-cap stocks with market caps under $2 billion, as well as low-priced equities with share prices ranging from $5 to $12. Kate tracks a variety of stocks with a combination of strong technical support and solid fundamentals. Many of the stocks featured will be recent IPOs. These newer issues are often some of the biggest price gainers in the market and provide an excellent opportunity for substantial gains if timed correctly. You can catch Kate Stalter live on Tiger TV with her small cap roundup every Tuesday and Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time and visit TFNN.com right now to get your two-week free trial to her brand new newsletter, Low Priced Leaders, while locking in the low introductory monthly rate of only $37.50 per month, almost a 50% discount. Act now. With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you gain access to each host charts and computer screen as they host their daily stock program. 
Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Ken Shreve, Kate Stalter, Dave White, Larry Pesavento, or Victor Jones, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV yet, then visit TFNN.com today to see what you're missing. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus can this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. It's that time of year again, and the Great Panther Silver Summer Silver Giveaway is back. Every day in June, Monday through Friday, we'll be giving away a Great Panther Silver 1-ounce silver bar, and all you have to do to enter is visit the front page of TFNN.com and fill out your entry. Great Panther Silver and TFNN wishing you a great start to the summer. Sign up today to have a chance to win a one-ounce silver bar during the Great Panther Silver Summer Silver Giveaway the whole month of June at TFNN.com. Stock market corrections are the number one reason that a buy-and-hold investment strategy produces the poorest results, and I have 73 years of data that proves it. Now, the good thing about economic difficult times is that the worst economy can produce the best rewards in the shortest period of time. In fact, during the last 130 years, 61% of that time period has been spent in recession. And if you're one of the 70% of American households relying on their 401ks and IRAs for retirement, you need the single strategy that is bulletproof against the turmoil of our stock markets. Go to the homepage of TFNN.com under breaking news, click on success is a numbers game to receive this must-have free report. This bulletproof strategy may be days away from giving the next signal. Don't neglect your retirement and don't neglect this signal. If you're even a little bit interested in accumulating wealth, providing a better life for you and your family, then go to TFNN.com to order your free copy of Success is a Numbers Game today. Implement the disciplines contained in this report and success will be yours for the taking. This segment is brought to you by Goldfields. For more information, just click the Goldfields banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We appreciate you growling and prowling out here with us. We get the uh, Dow Industrials right now down 17. Nasdaq's uh, up one. Uh, what will get interesting here is that, you know, uh, you had lighter volume on Friday. Um, this little baby here, you know, we'll see how she reacts. Uh, she stays there. She's going to go to the bottom first. It'll suck it right down there. Because the Dow, the Dow is in a ABC structure down to 11,563. Yeah. You know, and you're at 12,100. So you had a bunch of, uh, so the only thing that was popping on Friday you had the uh, gold stocks. Yes. I mean, you know, my, my screen that like, keeps track huge. of, the, uh, you know, you had all kinds of uh, gold stocks out there, all right. the miners, you know, that and were they, that And were they, took the, they took the B points out on, now here, if we if we pull up the strongest one, yeah. which is Wrangell Resources, yeah. right? If you want to see something here, what you have, folks, is this. Uh, now, the, this equity had gone straight down from $119 down to 72 Takes the first leg off, does, does good. Yeah. Takes the B point out. On Friday, big time. Okay, the B point is uh, eighty-two bucks, eighty fifty-four. Uh, you had volume up there of uh, seven hundred seven hundred thousand. Takes out one point six million. Now watch. This is where this is where you know. Okay, so your B point is eighty-two fifty-four. Your A seventy-two ninety-one. Uh, yeah, so it's like ten bucks. Okay, so that's seventy-eight. You know, I'm ballpark, 87 rather. So we're at 87. Exactly. Now, that's on the daily, but watch what happens when you go to the weekly. Now, what you have is this. So you're going into the downdraft with 1.6 million versus 3 million. Oh, yeah. That's, that's problematic. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. What, And this is it. This is not, this is on the XAU, the HUI, all the indices. There's nothing wrong with that. You can't expect that, you know, 
the first acceleration off the bottom you're going to get at all. But at the start. Yeah. But it's also dangerous because if I cha change yeah, this. Because I take a look at Rand Gold, at Gold, so that March 23rd downdraft. That's right. 9.9 .9 million shares on the weekly. Exactly. Oof. And you're only coming into that with 3.3. 3. Yeah. Isn't that tricky? Oh, I know. Oh, it's this is what, so what is it, it, you talking about deviant folk. That's re, the really deviant pot. Now, okay, so what do you do about it? Well, what you do is you just sit here and have patience. Because if it's real, yeah. What will end up happening is that we'll back, back down with some lighter volume. With much lighter volume. And yeah. it has in this case, folks, I mean it has to be dramatically lighter. And the reason being is that you're going to have to build up some cause in order to blow through yeah. that downdraft from April. Yeah. You know, isn't that wild though? You know, it's it's So in this case here, you know, where you think you'd be looking for it to pull back to just right to the top of the B point. You would okay. Yeah. yeah that's yeah, what you'd yeah, love. Yeah. You, 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 so, we, so somewhere in that seventy eighty buck area. That's right. You know. and, and as it backs down, you'd want it dramatically lighter. Yeah. Because then what you'd get is that at that seventy eight area you get you get uh, confluence. Yeah. You know, and with confluence is all we do when folks is taking two separate trends, point three eight two, six one eight off those trends and say, Okay, listen, that's an area of agreement. So the the trade would set up correctly there money management wise. Yeah, yeah. And you'd be looking at you'd be looking at volume less than the B point, you think? Yeah, that's yeah, what I so want. Yeah, it, so it, it, less has, than 745, it has to scream shares. at you. Yeah. It has to scream at you. And then what it, what is neat about that whole sector though? Is that you? I I I'll end up going through that sector and make sure that yeah. nothing is blowing out. Yeah. And you know, screaming that okay, you know, and of course that's going to have to do with the dollar again because I, it's interesting, like the acceleration up on that whole sector, you know, is as you're saying, you get fear coming in. Yeah. And what they probably had coming in is folks saying, okay, there's going to be QE three. Now, now what what cracks what cracks me up about that whole deal? Yeah. Is that this is where folks? What's interesting here is that the amount of hypocrisy that is everywhere. Yeah, it's just that the, all the people that are screaming about no more QE three. Every single time the market goes down, they want QE three. For sure, I mean, That's right. That's it's right. unbelievable. Help! Help me! Help me, Mister Government, Mrs. Government. Yeah. Give me a break. Yeah, it's, it's, no, it's no, a, no, absolutely. It really is. It, it, it's like okay, you know, I, and, and you know, I, I'll tell you, my my take is the economy's still all right. And it's actually good, you know. And it, 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 the the outtake is as we've talked about. The outtake is that yeah, the market's overvalued. The dollar wants to go higher, and uh, bottom line, yeah. the rest of those so, companies so have just, to get used to it. Yeah, so things will just come back to real price. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, they they've been making money. The non-transparency in the marketplace, folks, have been making money hand over fist from the dollar going from one twenty one down to seventy. You know, and the dollar's gone from seventy eighty two and wants to go higher. Yeah. That that's the non transparency that's in the marketplace. They were why don't you make that earnings, earnings, earnings? Well, is earnings from pushing product out or was it from the currency conversion? Yeah. Yeah. So And the problems in Europe are not gonna go away. We've you no. know, I mean this stuff's been going on now for so long. You know, you'll hear all kinds I, of rumors listen, out there. You know, all kinds of stuff out they, there. They, all kinds of proposed plans. They had a study. Out, they had a study work. out there today saying the Europeans aren't going to be able to retire to eighty. That guy's on crack. They, <laughs> they're he, already they, retired. They, they retired at fifty. They're going right. to go to forty. That's right. Steve Rose, Tom O'Brien. We appreciate it. Growl on a prowling out here, folks. You stay right there. We're coming right back. Would you like a personal update from Tom O'Brien as to what equities he's trading and what his daily trading plan is before the market opens each morning? Every market day, Tom O'Brien sends out his daily newsletter, Market Insights, to hundreds of subscribers that rely on his daily recommendations when it comes to navigating these highly volatile markets we're dealing with. As recently as May 21st, Market Insights subscribers closed out all five open positions for a combined profit of over 68% in one day. Profits ranged from 6.5% to over 24%, and all of these trades had been initiated within the previous 30 days. Now is the perfect time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's explosive trading newsletter, Market Insights, an $85 value. Tom breaks down the market each morning with his market take and provides trade recommendations including precise stops and target profit zones, leaving nothing left to guessing. Log on to TFNN.com today and sign up for your two-week free trial. Make sure you're a subscriber the next time Market Insights subscribers close out multiple winning trades. Take action and sign up for your free trial today.
If you're an investor looking for a great weekly investment newsletter, then now is the perfect time to try out Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Every Tuesday, Ken breaks down multiple sectors in his weekly newsletter, Ultimate Growth Stocks, with a full in-depth report including specific trading recommendations within his model portfolio, charts, sector analysis, upcoming economic data, along with intra-week trading updates on newsletter positions whenever the market dictates. Right now, you can receive a full month, that's 30 days, to evaluate Ken's newsletter free of charge to see if it fits your trading plan. At less than $75 per month, Ken provides you with his expert trading advice that can pay for itself in no time. Take advantage of this great offer by signing up for a 30-day free trial to Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks today. Don't let this offer pass you by. Visit the front page of TFNN.com and sign up now. What type of investor are you? Conservative, moderate, or aggressive? No matter your investor personality, your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals, time horizon, and your risk tolerance. Help ensure your portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan from Morgan Stanley Smith Barney. Simply picking the right stocks is not enough. Research has shown that choosing the right proportion of stocks, bonds, and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments. Morgan Stanley Smith Barney believes that a carefully selected portfolio can lower volatility and increase investment return potential. Find out about what asset allocation location and a Morgan Stanley Smith Barney financial advisor can do for you. Call Angela O'Brien, first vice president and certified financial planner of the Clearwater, Florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs. Asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets. Investments and services are offered through Morgan Stanley Smith Barney, LLC, member SIPC. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when temporary market spikes move against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the advantage of keeping your trades open even when the market temporarily spikes against you. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique short-term binary options that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. This segment is brought to you by Crocodile Gold. For more information, just click the Crocodile Gold banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We appreciate you growling and prowling out here with us. Right now, you get the uh, Dow down 31. NASDAQ is flat. S&Ps are uh, flat. You get the gold down uh, 430. A DAX in Germany, uh, you get the UK closed today. The DAX in Germany. It's basically holding those, well, down 48 bucks. You know, it's going it's to get interesting to see. Uh, let me just see if the DAX. So the DAX took out. Yeah, the DAX did do an ABC down too. Ooh, that's a big one. That could be a big one. Let me see this on a weekly. So if we did this on a weekly, it's harder to judge on a weekly. Yeah, but you know what? On a weekly, it says it's going to the bottom. You know, the Nikkei has gotten back to the uh, November 25th yeah. area in a heartbeat. Yeah. I mean, it has not taken long to get Remember back Remember, we were talking it. about it up at the top and saying, no, just take your yeah. time. It's going to come back. <laughs> came back all right. Yeah, absolutely. I, it it might, might be adding lower. Yeah, exactly. You know, exactly. Might, might, now, you know, there's a situation, too, folks, that, that, you know, you have to let these things back off, man. Because yeah. if you let them back off, let me just put this, put it on a weekly. It's actually pretty, oh, man, that's pretty sick. Look where it is. Yeah. It's actually right when the they had the... Problem with the oh with the uh, tsunami right was that okay yeah I think that's what that is well okay. no that, uh, yeah the tsunami that's right yeah. that's when they had the nuclear deal yeah, right yeah yeah and yeah, that yeah. went to eighty two twenty seven and this morning we hit eighty two thirty eight and we're doing it I won't get the volume till later but we did Friday six point three million versus sixteen billion hmm okay six point three billion rather okay okay still versus still, still, still sixteen close, still. billion right. it's not even close no it's not. 
So the yen, let's go over to the yen, JPY. Let's see what the yen's looking like. No, well, she's doing it too. Yeah, yeah, she's been pulling. This is, this is pretty, actually. Yeah. Because when I, she broke topside, it was 77.36. Yeah, the $77 mark right. was what I had targeted. It got down right. there, it got down there on Friday, and it almost looks like it wants to go all the way back. Yeah. We'll yeah. see, you know, we'll, we'll see. Well, what's interesting is that the, you know, when you look inside the dollar index, folks, what happens is that if the yen hadn't been getting stronger, the dollar would already be at 89. That's right. <laughs> Which is just amazing. Because inside that index, folks, you have For sure. seven of them. The euro is the biggest at 49% weight-wise, 46, whatever. But the yen is, is, is up there. Yeah, you know? exactly. Let's go to Bill in Sarasota. Hey, Bill, what's going on? Hey, good morning, Tom, Steve. How you doing, man? We're hanging in there. Hey, I've been trying to figure out a place to get short this market, and I was going to use either the TZA or the SDS, but I wasn't sure which would be the better play. Well, they, 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 if you like the uh, S&P, it's the SDS. The, the, the small right. cap is the TZA. I understand. Uh, is, do you think there's any possibility of a pullback on those two before... Uh, or just pick a pick a point and get in. Hey, no, I would wait. You, you got to wait for a bounce. This is, listen, a bounce is going to come out of here. I don't know where it's going to come out of, but it's going to come out of here. Okay. You know the IWM. You'd love to. You know it's going to be hard for it to bounce up there, but you'd love to see it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, get up to that seventy-eight. The uh, SPY. You know, you got. Uh, there's a couple places in the SPY. I mean, the SPY. It'd be, it's going to be interesting just at 129.55. And all that is is that's the low of the last low of the 18th. Right. You know? Okay. Well, you I know. appreciate it. Absolutely, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. You too. Yeah. And, you know, and part of that, part of that is the dollar index doing a, uh, you yeah. know, on a weekly basis, a move of move. It should pull back. Right. You know, the euro now trying to bounce a little bit higher. So all the things are, are set up in there. No, in, order, they, in order to have a bounce. That, no, they, they set up. There's no doubt about it. You know what? What you said a little bit earlier. What isn't set up is that there wasn't enough fear. No, no. You know, no. you didn't have uh, the five-day arms wasn't there. You did have a closing of two point one, which isn't bad. A three would have been better. Um, but that's what you need. You know, you 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 just need that to. Uh, but what is it also? But with a with a close of two, you know, on Friday, you would have thought that you know you'd get a, a decent bounce today not a low a, not, a, not, a, not putting a, any kind of solid low or anything like let, that let me tell you something way. when I, I looked at that market on friday uh i was saying i was looking i says man hold it you're closing it lows this thing yeah. this thing could have been big problems and especially when i brought up the there was no down tick i says oh man you got to be kidding me yeah no yeah. I, that that's what uh, you know david david was in here and we we're kind of getting ready for show and i'm like look at this david no fear no no, no. so you know got, that suggests lower prices are coming at some point here gc uh, and they're going to start this will be interesting to see how they hit gold right now cuz this should be a shocker uh so you get 90,000 contracts we're only back 1% of the move. But see, this is what ends up happening, folks, which is kind of, you know, and we had 60 bucks moves topside. Well, the good news is it moved $60 up. The bad news is that it didn't do work on that way up. Yeah, it just did it right, right out of the gate. Because case. if you get, right now, we're at 1615. If we get under 1610, well, you're going to be really surprised all the way back. How, how quick you can get to 1590 again. Exactly. <laughs> Great trading vehicle, though. You, you gotta look. You, trading vehicle wise, forget it. It's awesome. Yeah, right yeah, absolutely. Um, so, uh, so you were traveling with, uh, you know, economically. What do you kind of uh, see going on economically? You know, this is interesting. The how about real estate? Did you check out any of the real estate while you're out on the? No, I but, didn't. No, no, okay. I didn't. Um, but I can tell you that it, it was one of my friend's birthdays, folks, and uh, we went out to Las Vegas, and. Um, what was really cool was this. You know, I've talked about the larger macro deal, and I've seen these cycles, okay? Yeah. So, you know, to me, this is the third cycle I've seen in the last, you know, 30, real estate, 40 real estate years. Cycle, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's real estate and it's it, the economy in general. And, and what it is specifically is this. At the beginning of the baby boomers, right? So you had all the baby boomers, okay? Yeah. And the baby boomers, as long as you were ahead 
by a couple of years of everyone else, you had to make money. Yeah. You, you didn't have to, folks, but the reality is is that like a bull market, it's pretty hard not to. And I'm not talking about the stock market. I'm talking about almost any market you're in. If you drop in a place and there's going to be more people after you in that place, you're going to make money. Yes. Okay. So I was, you know, I, I was in that place. Yeah, and, yeah, you know, yeah, and yeah, I yeah. jumped ahead. I actually jumped ahead five or six years ahead of every, even other people in front of me. Do you know what I mean? So I watched it. And then, you know, he, he had children. And then as you have children, I'm watching as they're getting into school and how it could be harder yeah. versus softer. Yeah. Okay. In that economy. Yeah. Well, now fast forward to now, and, and this is the, the essence of it. The generation that's coming up that is 30 years old, 32 to about 24, 25. Yeah. Let me tell you something, folks. They, 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 they're so dynamic, it's unbelievable. But they're going to bring this car back roaring. I, I've, been, I've been going to Las Vegas since 1978, and... I watched all the fights there. I've, I've, you know, I, You're I, doing the bond business there. I know the place pretty good. Not yeah. like you know it, but yeah. I know it pretty good. But this time, I saw something that just blew my mind. And you get a picture of something, folks. The, the place has changed dramatically over the years. Oh, my goodness. I mean, dramatically. Yeah. You know, um, there were so many young... This place was filled with young people. Yeah. They could have taken yeah. out a, a wheelchair for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. Uh, I'm all, I am only kidding, folks. But let me tell you something. This place was, it was dynamic. Yeah. Okay. So a lot and of I, energy. But you know what I was looking around about? How do they afford it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, you know, yeah. they, they got all these, they, you know, the, the bars have the yeah. bottles in them, the beach clubs. The, you're talking about money out yeah. there. Yeah, Just yeah, huge yeah. amounts of money. But you know what? The bottom line is that they're out there working and they can't afford it. Yeah. You know? And, and that is important in the bigger context, understanding where we're going. Because, see, if you get too hung up... Looking around, say, okay, this is going on, that's going on. You, 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 you know, the, every day there's more people, and and that basis of what can drive the economy forward is is a big deal. Yeah, well, you know, in in Vegas, uh, you know, has has now created that industry segment where it is the clubs and people are paying good money to, you know, amazing, be, money. as opposed to right. in the old days where that stuff was in essence included with the, you know, with your gambling and with your deal out there. Now it's just a whole separate. You know, it's, you know, it, it, industry, it, business. It, no, it is, there. and it's and it's it's kind of a new one though. It's not just the. I mean, the, you, okay. So picture they, this: is what they have, folks. They have these beach clubs, right? And you, you know, you're only going to be going to these if you're 25, 26, maybe 28 and lower. I don't know, maybe 35. I'm not sure, but bottom line, you pay 40 bucks as a guy to get in, you pay 20 bucks as a woman to get in, okay, right? Okay. Okay. There's not a seat in the place. Yeah. If you if you have this if you want to sit out some uh, place that's going to cost you another five hundred bucks. Yeah. You seriously? That's that's, okay? that's that's pretty amazing. Now this is the kicker though. You can't get a seat in the place. There are so many people. Yeah. Yeah. yeah seriously. And that's, I was looking at that. I said, that's no. Crazy. And you know, uh, one of our tigresses bring up a good point. And yes, they're living with their parents. Yeah. And I, I would agree that some of them are. And if they are, folks, kick them out of the house because they can. They they'll be fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but, but see, I my my larger point is that I, I think that generation is dynamic. Yeah, I absolutely do. Yeah, I think they're dynamic. I think they're going forward. I mean, I just I just do, and they know how to make money. We got to teach them a trade. That many of them are trading. Yeah. No doubt. You know, there's no there's no doubt about it, man. Yeah, and uh, busy at the uh, busy inside the casino at the gaming tables. Um, and everything is it was busy. You know? They, they yeah. said that it, they, they've seen it pick up dramatically. Well, now the what what has happened is that the um, the real estate still hasn't come back. Yeah. Uh, they had the they had to forget it. I mean, the, picture this you, overbuilt. You, you, if you're in, in the time. desert, oh yeah. yeah, oh yeah. I want to live in the desert. <laughs> Let me go pay three hundred thousand. Live in the desert, you know. But they, there's a lot of jobs there. That's that's the bottom line. There is a lot of jobs there. There's yeah. no doubt about it. What was it? Was it uh, was it uh, incredibly hot out there while you were? Uh, it wasn't bad. It was only 103. Oh. Okay, I love it. Yeah, 103 is <laughs> not bad out there. Hey, listen, we 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 go out to uh, good old Larry. Larry's coming up. Basil's coming up oh, next, and yeah. then Larry's coming up next. It, it, it was 115 in in uh, Two, Phoenix. Yeah. It's probably 115 in Tucson. Too. Yeah, yeah, I think they're and they got fires out there. So they got fires in uh, Santa. I think is uh, the largest fire that's not under control. I mean, only 15 percent under control is uh, uh, in uh, Santa Fe. Big fire. Wow, out there. Big really? Fire. Yeah, big, big. That's fire Kate Stalter. Yeah, big fire out there. Oh, man, unreal. Look at this. They're hitting gold as we're talking. Well, see, yeah. there, there 16, we go. 16, we got one 11. of our tigers in the dead. He says, I'm 34 in cash flow, probably because I don't pay $500 to sit down. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's right. <laughs> uh, 
But I'll tell you, it, this is, I'm so cool that he's saying that, 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 that generation. Yeah. Well, see, and what, this is what's also happened, folks. Demographically, what you have to understand, demographically, that it are big, big numbers. Huge numbers. Yeah. Okay? So, just huge numbers push more volume. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that's what it comes down to. So, go long America. Right here, right now, baby. <laughs> Look at this. We got a nice volatile market. There's no two ways about it. Absolutely. Okay, so uh, where are we? Let's... Uh, coming up next, folks. Uh, we're gonna let's see. We're gonna be going from Florida. We're going up to Newton, Massachusetts. Our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. He's gonna be with you at 11 to 12. And uh, when we when we're talking, uh, Basil. Shame on me. Where no, we... next Friday. He's the next, next Friday. Friday. Yeah, this coming, this coming okay. Friday. Yeah, this coming Friday. He's got his. Uh, his workshop. And it, folks, you can come over to our website at TFNN and you can sign up for that workshop uh, right here, right now. It's going to be a full day with, uh, with Basil Chapman. Then we're going to be going to uh, Tucson, Arizona. Uh, Larry's going to be coming up uh, from 12 to 1. And then back here, uh, right? Is it back here with David? Yeah, yeah, back, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay, just back, yeah, back yeah, here yeah, with yeah, David yeah, from yeah. 3 to 4 and then 4 to 6, we'll growl and prowl with you out here. Yeah, so if we take a look at the IBD stocks, the uh, leader in the clubhouse, MasterCard, Okay, up, up two bucks. Now they were uh, there was some volume, I think, coming out of Mastercard or Visa on Friday. Yeah, and did it take out the uh, B point? One point two, yeah, one point one. But that's so real close. Real close. Okay. Oh, look what's stopping. Yeah, interesting. So you had the expansion on February second up to three eighty four. If you want to see something cool with 3.5 million that's what's supporting it yeah but it looks like it's that, really trying to oh it's gonna yeah that won't, take, that won't take last that out, long so so yeah and that's if you this is a beautiful one to look at to understand that you come down the first time you have some volume now here's the, the key inside this see how you came down into 394 yeah you have 1.1 million we'll see the bounce with only 1 million right right okay that doesn't fly and then you come back down Expands slightly, six percent. That's not. That's not a lot. Let's see what Visa's doing. What's the? Uh, oh, price line. Interesting. Oh no. So, look at Visa. Yeah. Yeah. This is. A, that's dangerous. That's a. That's you get if you do Visa, folks. Visa's at one thirteen, but it it got it went and say hi to that gap, and now the bottom of that gap is one oh seven. You know, and and folks have had a great run. You know, in both of these oh, stocks. Yeah. Huge, um, and uh, but it's starting to get kind of dangerous out there. Huge, and uh, Priceline. Let's see, one point four, Priceline one point three. It's going to be close. So what you have, you get a lot of complex ABC structures on the way down. What a complex ABC is, folks, is that first time down can't take it out. It'll build some more cars. It'll go back up with lighter volume. Come back at you with big volume. Yeah. And it, it, and the key inside that is as it goes back up. It, if the volume contracts, that's it. It's going to come right back at you, man. Yeah, uh, and you know you've got the uh, in the IBD, you've got you know they're it's like they're being ticked off one at a time. Yeah, I know. You know one at yeah. a time. Tractor supply, you know, I know that's uh, that's had some uh, trouble. A number of them out there having trouble. Oh yeah, no, <laughs> we know when they come down, man, they come down. They don't fool around. Look at tractor supply. Tractor supply, that's big trouble. Tractor yeah. supply is going down to seventy four. 86. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien, you stay right there, folks. We're going to be coming right back. We have the Dow down 24, NASDAQ up 1, S&Ps are flat. We're going to be right back. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's new trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. And you'll get the Technical Corner segment, which is a short but powerful weekly training session on trading. You'll 
you'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you just the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two weeks. Go to TFNN.com and click on the free trial link at the top of the page. That's an $85 value, yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind and get the edge you've been looking for. In just December of last year, the price of gold was down over 10%. In today's highly volatile gold market, you need someone in your corner that understands the complex relationships that exist within the price of gold, as well as within a variety of gold equities. Whether it's the South African gold miners and knowing how the RAND dollar relationship will affect their bottom line, or understanding how John Paulson's $5 billion trade in the GLD can move the market, Tom O'Brien gives you the direction you need to become a better trader each week in his newsletter the gold report with over 20 individual equities covered and almost another 20 on the potential watch list each week in addition to covering the xau hui gld and dollar the gold report is a great source for any trader that is looking to be diversified in today's volatile gold market for your 30-day free trial to tom o'brien's gold report log on to tfnn.com today don't miss out on this great offer act now David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Great Basin Gold is a mining company engaged in the exploration and development of two emerging gold properties in Nevada and South Africa with a total resource base of more than 23 million gold ounces. Great Basin Burnstone Mine in South Africa opened in February of this year with a resource of 20 million gold ounces, becoming the first mine to open in the historic Whitwaters Rand Basin in the last 30 years. The Burnstone Mine is projected to have a 25-year mine life and is fully financed with production anticipated to be over 250,000 ounces per year at a cash cost of only $450 per ounce. The Hollister mine in Nevada became fully integrated in the fourth quarter of 2010 with annual production estimates of 110,000 ounces of gold per year over the eight-year mine life at a cash cost of only $527 per ounce. Great Basin Gold is cash flow positive and trades on the Toronto and New York Stock Exchanges under the symbol GBG. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We appreciate you growling and prowling out here with us. Let's take a look at some of the volumes out here. So you hit the lower low out here today. We did one eight, we're doing 183 on the NYSE, and you're at, uh, ooh, look at that. You're at 478 in the NASDAQ. That's a big number yeah, the in the NASDAQ. Yeah, had some volume early on this morning. That's a big number. That's a big number. So you hit. It's going to be interesting if you, that doji hangs up because it's like, okay. Yeah, you know, now what, what's, uh, what's, uh, what's leading, what's lagging in the... Uh, in, inside the NDX, yeah. what we have is that uh, the leaders... Oh, Netflix, give me a break. Um, Netflix, Seagate Technologies, Seagate, which is Surrey, struggling. And, yeah, up. and... Uh, that's, I should know this one by heart because it's the big biotech company. Um, it's funny. B. Both, both. <laughs> Here, I'll tell you what it is. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's uh, uh, Biogen. Biogen, Biogen, yeah, right. Yeah. And so out of that, you know, Biogen's not a bad looking one, but yeah. the rest of them are dead cat bounces. Yeah. And uh, NDX and the laggards inside that. 
would be uh, Vertex Pharmaceutical, Rem, NVIDIA. Well, you know, I think Wynn was trading lower this morning, so you guys must have taken a bunch of money out of Wynn. You know, it's amazing. That, I, was, yeah, uh, I, I won. I, when, when you're walking out of there winning, it blows your mind. I mean, it, there's no doubt about it. I haven't looked at this stock for a while. Actually, Wynn is kind of Yeah, well, what's going on is that even when I was out there, it was the headlines everywhere. Okay. That the, because you get the wind, you get the Las Vegas Sands, yeah. and it was uh, Maycow. Uh, was slowing down. Okay. You know. Now, the amazing part, when they say make how it's slowing down, so watch this, folks. These folks have been used to um, growth by, like, oh, my God. Let me see if I can get to the numbers. I mean, they, they're, they're insane numbers. Gross game. Here, here it is. Watch, watch this. So they make as much in a month. Oh, no, 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 no. There's no like question. Six yeah, months in Vegas. Right. Yeah, no, no question about that when you yeah. take a look at the... Uh, yeah. I remember when they reported numbers that the majority of it was coming from there, which is kind of a, it's amazing what they've done to that little island. Yeah. You know. I know. It was just a and you've dog, been there? Yeah, yeah, several times. It's just a, you know, back back in those days, it was just a dog track. It was nasty. Yeah, well, you see, all, all you do is change the law, you know, make it. All I had to do was get rid of Stanley Hall. Yeah, right, right. He you ran know. everything. He right? ran, yeah, he had to. Yeah. And he's, he's still he, out there yeah, running. His daughter, well, he's not yeah, running his everything now, but yeah. yeah. But he still has, yeah. He's. I mean, they obviously, they totally upgraded everything. Sure. You know, back then, you were walking into a chain-smoking place. Right. I mean, that's all it was. Right. That was, that was, that was nasty. Amazing. Yeah, absolutely amazing. But we went over there looking for locations to open up uh, at some of our, our stores, and we just said, nah, we're just going to pass. Yeah. You should just open a casino. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no doubt about that. Yeah. So let's go, let's take a look at the cues right now. So when you take a look at the cues here, folks, what we have, let's see this one. Okay, come on, baby. So we just went to a lower low, 38 million shares. Now it's going to get back inside 6076. Looks like it wants to, too. Interesting. A lot of shares, man. Yeah. That's, 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 that's some big volume. Well, you know the the it's still the 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 euro and dollar you right. know, walking it locked up with each other are probably what is going to be the energy to get a little bounce going here. Yeah, and then that should you know I guess <laughs> that are all the lunar cycles that we've got oh, going oh, on right now. Oh, was that a great full moon I, this morning? I meant to talk to you about that. Oh, is this that is, a great this full the, moon this, this morning? This is the lowest. This is the lowest I've ever seen the tide. Yeah. Ever. Oh, yeah. Yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it was. Hey, incredible. and what's the, deal, what's the deal? What's the deal about Venus? This is the last time that Venus is going to pass through. Through in between the sun. Yeah. And the, for like three to seventy years. Yeah. We're exactly. going to talk about that later. Yeah. All righty. Let's stay right here. <laughs> we got our man Basil Chapman, folks. You stay right there. This is Steve Roach, Tom O'Brien. We got the Newton, Massachusetts, with Basil out to Tucson, Arizona. Larry Pesavento back here with David and myself. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one.